I can't believe it's Valentine's Day already. This year I've put together a bunch of projects that we can do very simply and very inexpensively. I've got a lot of clearance items that I purchased from Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or even from the Dollar Tree. I've used a lot of things that I've had around the house with some different ribbons. I've got Scrabble letters and just little wooden pieces and even more. So stay tuned, let's get started. You gotta watch this. Welcome back everybody. Last week one day I went into Hobby Lobby and I found the aisle of Clarence merchandise. Don't be afraid when you come across some silly looking things like this to realize that you can just paint right over this. It was $1.74, regularly $7. This piece I had and I think this is, yes, this is from uh, Michael's and I've had that for a while. This little palette kind of a thing, and I believe this was from the Dollar Tree. I've got a blessed sign, $1.49, and they've got the price covered up. These were at Hobby Lobby, $10, and I wanna say I spent $1.99 on that or something. A little book, and this is from Michael's. A $9.99, and I believe I paid like $1.50 for it. I think this was also from Michael's. A little house type of a sign, regularly $8.99. It was $2.24. Back that up. It was $0.89. Uh, nine ninety nine, or excuse me, $8.99. And, you know, it's scuffed up a little bit. Who cares? We're going to do something def different with it. $2.24. Came across a bunch of these as well in the clearance at Hobby Lobby. Regularly $7.99, $1.99. And then these are things I picked up at the Dollar Tree last year and did not use. Um, and I've got these as well. These are from the Dollar Tree. These are the little um, chalkboard tags. These are all from Amazon. So we'll just paint these. I use these with my baby shadow boxes and sometimes with the wedding ones. Here's some various sizes of little wooden hearts. Uh, I've got a couple more pieces here. Um, these were at Hobby Lobby, uh, Valentine's Day uh, items. And this was 40% off. It was originally $2.99. So I grabbed a couple of those. And then one of these that you put in the plants or whatever, $1.99. 40% off of that too. And I have just some various ribbons here and I just dumped an entire drawer of ribbon. So I've got to get that cleaned up so I can find some other ribbon. Here's a few pieces that I've had here. This is the lamb's ear and this is from the his and hers collection at Hobby Lobby. And these are regularly $1.99. These are from Michael's, I've had these for a while. And then here's something else I picked up at Hobby Lobby. In the Valentine section, regularly $3.99, and it was 40% off. Well, let me go clean up my mess, and I'll get a couple of more things together, and we're going to make a whole bunch of decorations. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. So I'm getting out some various craft paints, and I'm going to cover the fronts of these plaques and pictures that we're going to use for our decorations. Looks as though they're gonna need a couple of coats. This pink one, I am kind of doing in a streaky kind of a thing. And then the one that looks like the house, I did just some dabbing motions on. I wanted it to have a little bit of texture to it. And now I'm just gonna paint the various hearts that I have, some of which will be a burgundy red and I believe I'm gonna do maybe some in a deep pink. And I'm gonna put some glitter on a few of these so that they have a little bit of a shine to them. So now let's decide what we're gonna actually do to some of these. 
And now I'm just kind of kind of move things around and try to figure out what goes best where. Today I'm going to try and cut basswood or balsa wood. Now this happens to be some very, very uh, thin plywood and it is from Michaels and it's pretty expensive. It's regularly $22.99 for a sheet that is about 12 inches wide by 24 inches long. So I thought I would try to do this because I'm doing a Valentine's video. So. This is the knife blade that's in here, and this is gonna probably take about 14 passes to do this, but I'm spelling out the word love. And you can see I've already practiced. My lettering was too small, so we are going to see what happens as I chose a different uh, word of love. And hopefully this will work. Not bad. I think it cut out very well. It looks as though I may need to calibrate my machine again. I can see a little bit of some overlap where it didn't quite all add up like it should have. But all in all, I'm pretty darn pleased. So I'm gonna get this cut, get these little pieces. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit here which is only a couple little things I feel like I need to do on this. And then we're gonna use this on one of our Valentine's pieces. All right. We're gonna go ahead and use this now. Come on over, let's finish our Valentine's Day ideas. So I'm gonna show you some of the projects that I have put together I uh, did the time lapse yesterday and it does seem like it moved really, really fast. So I wanna kind of slow things down and show you what we did. So here we have the big wooden piece and that was a fall design. We've used the Hobby Lobby uh, corrugated metal heart that had the wood heart on top of it. I painted and added this uh, pretty dark pink it's called Deep Fuchsia. And then I used the Dollar Tree stems, similar to these, just took them off their stick and applied those. And then I used two different pretty ribbons and put that over the holes where I took the jute out. So I think that turned out really cute. Went ahead and put a hanger in here if you wanted to hang it. I. I think that's really super cute. Super inexpensive. Like I said, on, on clearance for, I believe it was $1.50. These were 40% off and they were normally $2.99. This was a dollar. 
this I'm sure was probably 25 cents. Had the ribbon, there you go. Really inexpensive. I think it's really adorable. Now with this one, I just need to glue these in, but this was the Hobby Lobby clearance item and it was $1.89 if I remember correctly. This was the little corrugated um, red stick that you put into a plant. I just cut that off of there. I don't remember how much that was, pretty inexpensive. I had the leopard uh, ribbon. So all I did was paint in like a glossy white. It's called Pearl Finish by Delta Crim Crim Coat. And so I put a shiny finish on that. I painted and then glittered one of my wooden hearts that had come from Amazon. And the pink paint that I used was a color shift paint that I bought at Walmart. And this is by Folk Art. And it is Orchid Flash. So I tied the ribbon around and then I added another tail to it hot glued these two pieces on and now what I'm going to do is add my little pieces here and let's see if I can get those on doing the lamb's ear first and I'm just tucking everything up underneath and then these were pieces from Michael's as well This is just kind of a little leftover piece I had from some floral, and it probably was from Michael's. This doesn't even have to be a Valentine's Day craft. This could be any time. I think this turned out really super cute. All right, so we've just finished this one. Pull the lambs there up here a little bit. And that turned out really, really nice. So this one will hang or it'll sit. Now in this one, this was the blessed sign. And I just kind of roughed up the edges a little bit because I like the black and white check. So, make sure you're all in frame here. So I painted over the blessed and did just a little bit of um, roughing up on the edges. I used a red heart that I painted with uh, accent paint called Crown Jewel. And then I had, okay, not exactly the same thing, but I have these cut out wood pieces and I really like to heat emboss on these when I use these four wedding shadow boxes. They just look so pretty as a dimension in my shadow box. So that's what this is as well. So I painted it with the red color and then I glittered it with a very pretty iridescent glitter. You can see that. I just sprinkled it on top. Now the Valentine's Day ribbon I have had for a while now, but I'm sure it was Hobby Lobby or Michael's find. So here is what I decided to do. I'm going to find, I guess, had a little heart here. Here it is. All right, I've got little Scrabble letters that I had bought a long time ago to do baby shadow boxes with. And I wanted to take these and glue them just like this. So let's get these situated here exactly where I want them. And then we'll glue them on. This 
one's gonna have to be very carefully glued so the glue doesn't show. And that turned out really cute. This can hang or it can be a little shelf sitter. Wow, very cute. All right, on to the next project. All right, once again, we had the $1.98, yep, $1.99 piece from Hobby Lobby. I used one of my chalkboard tags because I wanted I liked the stitching on here and it being black on the background. And then here is another one of the filigreed pieces of wood, which I painted in the crown jewel. I laid those on top of each other. Now this one, I didn't paint. I was able to cover up whatever letter was on here just by placing these two pieces on. So one thing I am gonna do here is wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap okay I've got this cute little heart I'm trying to remember if this is glittered I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna put this side in here And we'll spread this out. Okay, I'm gonna cut the end of this off. Okay, now we'll adjust this as we need to because I want to put B mine here. So now we're going to add the lettering and I want it to say be mine and it was a little bit difficult. I wanted to combine the two words but it just was not working that way. It just didn't look balanced to me. Hang on. See, still thinking. All right, I think I like that. So let's go ahead and make sure, leave them all where they are for right now so that I can get them glued on. turned out cuter than I expected. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is on the back, just lay a little bit of glue to keep our twine where I want it. All right. Turned out very cute. I'm real pleased with it.
So this one was done yesterday. When I painted it, I painted it in that color shift paint, like I did some of the other stuff, but I just used kind of like a, a dabbing motion. I wanted, wanted it to kind of have a texture to it. Then I had a couple of these hearts that I've had for a long time, and these are from Michaels. I'm sure I got them on clearance at some point, but I've had them a long time. Then I took a couple of my hearts that I had already had from Amazon and painted them. Uh, both I did in that deep fuchsia color. I had ribbon here at the house and this is ribbon I'm sure I got from Michaels. Glued on the two pieces here, added my ribbon around it first and then put on a second ribbon. And there we have it. And this one is a shelf sitter.
All right. I think this turned out adorable. For not knowing what I was gonna do with it, it is really super cute. And I'm pretty excited about how well the basswood um, cut. I think I need to recalibrate my blade, but otherwise I was pretty pleased with it for a first go round. All right, let's see if there's anything else we were gonna do. I think we'll do one more project. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this very silly looking picture of a leopard on her laptop at her kitchen table with a cup of coffee. It's probably one of the silliest things I've seen in a long time, but hey, I'm sure somebody bought some of them. Bye-bye, kitty cat. I came up with another idea. I found a mason jar that I've had hanging around here for a while, and I thought I would cover it with some really cute Valentine paper. We'll probably Mod Podge this on. And I'm gonna cut out this heart right here, and then we'll embellish this a little bit, and we'll put a candle in this. I'm gonna have to wash this, but... So, let's see if I can possibly do this. pretty dry now so I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with another coat of Mod Podge just here on on the outside just to make sure we have it sealed in Now, this one is now dry, and I kind of like it has a little bit of a streaky look to it, uh, like a chalk paint finish. And I think we're going to use this heart, but I don't want the roping on it. So we're just gonna take this off. cut some and see what we think. This is from Michael's and I believe this was, yes, Christmas ribbon, regularly $10.99. Of course I got it on sale somewhere.
Okay, that might work nice. So my jar is nice and dry. Everything seems to be on pretty much okay. Um, the back here, you can see a little bit of uh, raised area, but this is where the wording is. So what I'm gonna do is waiting for the glue gun to heat up and I'm kind of cleaning up my little heart here just a little bit more. And as soon as that gets heated up, I'm gonna be applying some twine string my brain won't let me tell me what this is to the top and the bottom so we can get a little bit of decoration on here then I'm gonna figure out what I want to put in here to hold the candle and then we'll light it up and we'll see what it looks like I thought it might be a nice thing to be able to clean up the heart by applying some gold glitter glue okay let's let this dry I think it turned out pretty good. I'm just carefully going around and adding my jute. for the day okay we'll wrap up the video for right now I'm waiting for the candle holder to dry as I have put my hands in the glitter glue multiple times but I'm going to show you everything else now that it's finished and I couldn't be more thrilled clearance items Dollar Tree items things I had here at the house just a little bit of imagination and I am thrilled with how everything has turned out. Thanks for stopping in. I hope this gave you some kind of inspiration on some great Valentine's gifts or home decor that you can make on your own. Look for my next videos. Thanks for stopping in. Zip tie it, pull your loop off.